Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! The idea for this video is to create products using a form and not model factory. So for now we do not have that available yet, but I will start by defining the route. So the path will be products slash create and the component will be create. Now instead of importing the component and then use it, what I will do is something else. So I will require the component instead. So let me show you. I will copy this route and the URI as we said is products slash create. So instead of importing the component and then using it, what I will do is to require the component. So something like this. So we will have the create component inside the product folder like this. Okay, so this is the idea. So what I will do is to do the same for the other routes. So I will get this path here and for the login I will say require like that. The same for the register and the same for the feed component. Okay, so this will actually save a couple of lines but it is not a big deal as you can see. Anyway, so let me delete the imports there and we are fine. So the next step is to create the component inside product as we said, create.view. Let me make this a bit smaller. Okay, perfect. So I will get rid of some stuff here because we do not need them. They are just for, you know, some dummy uh, code just to get started. Even the style is not needed. Okay. So for this component, we will need a form to create a new product. So I will start by defining the columns. So div class row, and then we have a call md8, and then a call md with an offset of two. So we have this in the center. So I will have a test string there just to see if this works or not. So if I go to products slash create, we should have it right here and it is. Okay, so now let's create the form. I will start by defining a panel. It will be a panel default. And then we need a panel, panel body. So panel, oops, body. What else? So then we need, uh, uh, this has to be div, okay. So inside the panel body, I will create a form group. We will have, uh, oops, this is a class actually. Okay. So we will have a label. The label will be name. We have an input. Type text and the class will be form. Control. I will copy this, uh, this form group and I will create another one. And this one will be for the price. The type here will be number. And I need another one for the description. So description, and this has to be a text area. Okay. And I have to spell text area correctly. Okay, perfect. So what is the next step? We definitely need a, a button to submit the data. So button, the type will be, actually the type is not needed here because we are using Vue.js, so the class will be btn, btn success, and I will pull the button to the right. The text will be create. Okay, so if we go back, we should have the form, and it looks fine, I guess. Okay, so now let's continue with the Laravel application. So in the Laravel application, we need a route to create a product. However, we already have the route because we are using the resource route. So this will give us all the available routes ready to use. For this case, we just need the store function. So let me create it. Public function store. And for this, of course, we have the request. For now, I will just return the request just to see what we have. And of course, back to the view application because we need the logic in order to send the data to the server. So inside data, I will create a product object and uh, we have uh, name, price, and description. So name, price will be zero, and description. 
like this. And of course, uh, since we are using Vue.js, we can use model binding, which is amazing. So let me quickly do this. vModel product.name and then we go down here the model product dot price and oops the model product dot description all right so i will open the dev tools just to see what we get so inspect view and we go here so once we change the name and the price and the description you can see that the change is reflected right here so whenever you change them it changes in real time and you know what why don't we display this create button only when we have name price and description set so inside the Vue.js application i will go down here and i will say v show so if the name is set and the price is set and the description is set only then show the button so if i go back you cannot see the button anymore however once we set the name to test and the description to test again you still cannot see the button and the reason why is because the price here is zero and zero you know that it is a false value so here it says if the product name is not false and the product price is not false and the product description is not false so all these values are true only then show the create button and because the price is set to zero and zero is a false value this breaks and it doesn't show the button however once we change this to one you can see the button there so if i change this back to zero disappears okay so i hope it makes sense so everything is set up we just need a function that will be called when we click the create button so i will go up here and i will say at click i want to call a function that i will name it create okay so inside right here now we will use the methods and i will create a new method and we will call this create as we said and inside this method i will make a post request to the laravel server so the uri is api slash products and you can verify this by going to the laravel application and running php artisan route route list so this will show all the routes however we care about this route right here so this uses the store function and this is the uri so this dot http dot post api slash products make sure you do not have a slash before the api otherwise this will not work so it is just api slash products nothing else anyway next we have to pass the product object so this dot product and i will log the response so response console.log the response okay all right so let's take a look if i say here test and the price one the description desk create and we should see the response right here and inside the body we have description name and price so if we return hello inside the laravel application instead of the request all we should get hello so let me clear this create and you can see that it says hello right here so the communication works all we have to do now is to use the data to create the product we already know how to do this because we have covered that in the laravel series so product equals to product create and i will pass a request all however if we try this we will get a mass assignment exception so let's go to the product model and make the desired attributes fillable and i want to make fillable the name the price and the description all right now let's give this a try i will click create and we get an error here let me see 
Okay, so it looks like we have a problem in the products controller. Let me quickly see. Oh, okay, I forgot an L, so it is all. Let's go back. Let me clear the console. Okay, create, and we get the response back. And the response should have the data that we return. So if we check the database, if I go to products right here, we should have the product right at the top. Okay, so instead of returning the request, I want to return the created product. And for now, in the Vue.js application, I want to redirect the user to the feed once we create a product. In the next video, we will handle notifications, which means that once we create a product, I want to display a notification to the user that the product was created. So let's redirect the user to the feed. This router.push and we go to the feed. All right, one last test. Another one, the price will be six, a description, another description. Create, we are redirected back to the feed. And if we check the table, it is right here, the new product. And of course, in the feed component, in the feed view, you can see it right at the end. Actually, I will order, uh, I will order the data by created at, so we get it at the top. So order by created at desk. Okay. And we get the data. Perfect. Reload. And you can see it right here.